In this program, we're going to run the motor to a particular position. It's going to use that run at constant speed uh, algorithms in order to get there. So it's going to have the same characteristics as run at constant speed, but as it gets to that position, it's going to slow down and then stop right on the mark. So to do that, instead of setting the mode to run using encoder without encoder, we're going to set the mode to run to position. In order to have a target position to get to, we need to have that be a, vari a variable in our program. So I have a new variable that's an integer. I'm going to call my variable target, and my variable is going to be, have a value of 1478. I picked this value because it's about one rotation of a matrix motor. We have another variable that's a start position. When we start the program, we're going to record where the motor started. So you can see here that right when we, when we start the program, we're going to map the motor, we're going to set the mode, and then we're going to record what the current position is. So whatever the current position is, we're going to save that to start position. That's the only time we're going to do this throughout the program, so that start position is always going to be wherever it was right when you pressed in it. Then we're going to wait for the start button to be pressed by you. After we press the start button, we will set the power, the power, uh, so this is how fast the motor is going to want to get to uh, that target position we're going to set. We're still going to be 15% power. We can change that around however you like. Then we're going to set where we want the motor to go. So we're going to say we want you to go to whatever position, whatever encoder take position. Remember that your motor controller may not have started at zero. If you run one program and then you run this program, uh, it may start at 5,000. Uh, whatever, wherever it was at the last one, the motor encoder position will reset if the motor controller is powered down and back on, or if you use the reset encoder mode, which we'll talk about in the next, uh, in the next page on this topic. But for right now, a great method to, to take into account where the motor started is to offset your target by the start position. So if we start at 100, and we want to actually move to five. Well, we started at 100 and we want to move five more. So we're going to move to target position plus our target, which could be five, or right in this case, it's 1500. So we're going to set the target position. It's going to start moving. So this is, this is the first thing it's going to do when you start, when you hit play. Then in the while loop, just like our previous programs, it's going to display the mode you're using, it's going to display the power, and then new to this, it's going to display the target position you gave it and subtract start position. Because if you have a target position of 5, we started at 100, we'll want to subtract that start position so it just says 5. And that way it, it, it all looks uh, the same. Because we add to start position here, we got to subtract back off before we give you, uh, the user, where the target position actually is. Then we're going to display the current encoder count of the motor. Um, and once this encoder count reaches here, then the motor will know it got to where it needs to go. So this will kind of be a feedback. The closer these values get, the closer the motor is getting to where it wants to go. Uh, now, fun demo thing is to move the motor back and forth. Um, so we're going to say when the motor actually gets to where we told it to go, then we will reverse value. A cool function we have for that is if the motor is busy, then it's still trying to get to that position you told it to go to. So it's not there yet. If it's not there yet, we're just going to say it's busy, and then that's it. We'll update the value and then uh, or update the telemetry and then go back to the beginning again. So as long as it's busy, as long as it's still trying to get there, we'll just keep updating this telemetry. If it's not busy, then that means the motor has gotten to where it's trying to go to. It should be stopped. So we'll display that the motor is free, and then we'll wait half a second. And it's just so that the motor gets to its position. We'll wait for half a second. It'll, it'll sit there for half a second that way. Uh, to the user, you can see it gets there, it stops before it does anything else. After half a second, we will reverse the target. So instead of having a target be positive 1500, we'll have it be a negative 1500. This hasn't, this line doesn't tell the motor to go anywhere. The next line does. So now we'll actually take that new target variable and push it out to the motor like we did during initialization. So then the motor, we never change that power, it still has that 50% power. It's now going to use that same power. It, it last received to go to that new target position, which is now negative 1500. So it's going to go uh, backwards one rotation to where it started, and then another rotation to get negative 1500. After it gets there, it'll do this again. It'll wait half a second, and then it'll go forwards two rotations, 
After it gets there, it'll go backwards two rotations. After it gets there, go forwards two rotations, and it'll keep going back and forth. Just a cool little demo program. That's while that mode is active. So after you press the stop button, we want the motor to stop, no matter where it is. Stop button, we want the motor to stop. So after you press stop, it'll exit this while loop, and then we'll set the motor power to zero. In the next topic, we're going to talk about how you can reset the encoder values, so check that one out.